For Prime One Studio, the challenge to remain at the top means designing and creating pieces that continue to raise the bar. James Cameron's 2009 breakthrough film, Avatar, transported audiences to the vibrant world of Pandora, rich with textures of contrasting landscapes and magical creatures. The long-awaited sequel is finally here. Avatar, The Way of Water, is one of the most expensive and highly anticipated films ever made. Jake and Neytiri are now parents and take on their biggest challenge yet to keep their family together and safe. It comes as no surprise that Prime One has chosen the most anticipated motion picture of all time as inspiration for its 10th anniversary centerpiece. Bringing the highly detailed world of Pandora's ocean environment to life required the highest level of technical experience and expertise. Prime One Studios production artists embraced the challenge to bring Avatar's diverse world and its heroes together in a way that communicates the same visual experience audiences have inside the theater. This required new breakthroughs in color mixing and materials to maintain the visual fidelity of Cameron's vision. Capturing the dimensions and textures of the movie meant taking the world of Pandora and literally setting it down onto the table. And that is just what Prime One Studio has done. Ranked among the very best in the industry, the engineering and design talent of Prime One Studio is on full display with this exceptionally detailed piece. Neytiri and her Banshee are faithfully reproduced in every detail in full flight at the highest point, while Jake Sully is featured expertly riding a skim wing. From the highly intricate wing textures to the truly unique and colorful patterns of both Jake and his mount, this piece is sculpted to showcase the force of the skim wing, powering through the water surface with its powerful tail. It is difficult to find the words to describe how impressive this statue is. The most exciting aspect is the way the sculpture captures the dimensions of life and movement, which are such an important part of the movie. The mountains seem to float behind Neytiri and Jake as they soar from the sky above and along the water surface. Their children swim down below with the beautiful Elu gliding through a landscape of vibrant corals and luminescent rays, faithfully replicated in 3D relief and LED technology. Prime One Studio is showing just how far it has come in 10 years, leading the industry with the most realistic materials, giving the surface of the water a feeling of movement and life. Each of the two halves is a masterfully detailed representation of the heart of the movie. Displayed together, they represent the years of technical expertise and imagination that has made Prime One Studio sculptures so mesmerizing and highly collectible. Much like the ambitious Cameron, 
They continue to break the mold by producing not only breathtaking pieces, but also engaging visual representations of your favorite characters on the big screen, and will continue to do so for many years to come. As Jake Sully so perfectly reminds us in the movie, wherever we go, this family is our fortress. Welcome back to Next Level X. My name is Dante Carver, and joining me is my illustrious co-host, Shiz Anderson. Hello, everyone. You ready to do this? Absolutely, and I'm super excited to be back. In December, we feasted our eyes upon the amazing upcoming releases. This time on part three of Next Level X, we're continuing to bring you the latest and greatest in statue innovation. It's hard to believe that we've already gone through 10, nearly 11 wonderful, amazing years of creativity and innovation. Two years ago, Prime One Studio shook up the internet by storm with their first showcase, Phase One. Mm -hmm. And seven showcases later, Prime One Studio continues to prove that their execution and statue design are top class in the industry. I wonder what kind of crazy ideas they've come up with this time. That's a good question. <laughs> I'm sure the viewers at home are itching to find out. Take it away, Shizuka. All right, so without further ado, let's give a big warm welcome to Prime One Studios. Next Level X, part, part three. three. There's not a day that goes by where Prime One artisans aren't working on honing their craft. The studio continues to build upon the foundation that they have set, from a steady roster of fan favorites to brand new IPs. Yup, and as Prime One Studio acknowledges its 11th year in the biz, we embark on a journey back in time to a world where honor, courage, and relentless battles between men shape the pages of a manga masterpiece. Hokuto no Ken, Fist of the North Star. 
as legendary writer Budon Son and artist Tetsuro Hara celebrate their 40th anniversary this year, Prime One Studio has created the absolute perfect commemoration piece. Let us toast to one of Japan's most iconic manga couples, Kenshiro and Yuria.一番大事なのはやっぱり骨格ですかね。体のバランス。まあ、デッサンがやっぱ気になる。まあ、絵描きなんで、やっぱりデッサンが気になりますって。でもよくできてると思いますって。あ、いいと思いますけど。単体ともその髪型とかあの髪の色とか目つきとか絵のイメージに近い印象があって僕のイメージする絵を具現化してもらってる感じがすごく感じましたねでその僕はあの背景に使ってるあの仏像とかねま造形物みたいなの絵でも
それはすごく感心してますね感心してるっていうか感銘を受けてるっていうかでポーズも、まあ、僕が描いた絵のに近いところからまた作り直されててまた新たな世界観が出ててそういうところもすごく嬉しいですね、うん、これは置いときたいなと思える感じの佇まいですねあの初期の頃のイメージもあるし後半のイメージもちゃんとこうミックスされていてとってもなんかこう素敵な具現化してもらえてるっていうのがいいと思いますね。えっとね「愛の曲線」ええかなと思いました。<笑>まあ、南東と北東の、まあ、愛なんでそれがちょうど合うかなって思いました、ね、僕もあのこれ拝見してやっぱ部屋に置きたいなと思いましたのでなんか皆さんにも置いてもらいたいしあの僕のやっぱり世界観も本当に見事に再現されてるんで、えーまあ、皆さんにも。ぜひ楽しししんでいいただけるとと嬉しいなと思います今年あの僕もあの北斗の拳も40周年その記念にもなる年なので原画展もありますのでそちらもあの一緒に楽しみにしてもらえたら嬉しいなと思います。Isn't Hara Sensei just the best? The work that he's done up until this point has been phenomenal. Oh, it really has. Thank you so much, Hara Sensei. Now I'd like to switch gears to a piece that has been eagerly anticipated by fans all over the galaxy. Over the past few years, Prime One Studio has been hard at work to craft the ultimate villain centerpiece for your collection. The moment has finally arrived to unveil the Emperor of the Universe. And there you have it. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely. And I'm really impressed with how it turned out. Now, tell me, how exactly can we get our hands on this bad boy? Well, a little birdie told me that pre order information is coming very soon. So be sure to be on the lookout for Prime One Studios' social channels. And thank you to everyone for your patience. In the realm of storytelling, Heroes may shine brightly, but behind every hero is a destructive and evil entity, also known as a villain. They serve as the direct opposition to heroes, and their roles drive the backbone of any good story. Fans of this archetype 
are sure to be impressed by this next piece. Gigantic humanoid weapons piloted by teenagers battle with sinister angels. Evangelion was truly ahead of its time with its fleshed out characters and psychoanalytical commentary, often about the real world. Having said that, heroines in Evangelion bring emotional depth to the story and compliment Shinji Ikari on his journey to self-discovery. Following the footsteps of Lei Ayanami and Asuka Langley is Prime One Studios' next latest project. Since the very beginning, Prime One Studio artisans have had the honor of expressing their creativity through the blank canvas provided by DC Comics. When it comes to Batman and company, the possibilities are endless. It's no secret that I love this section, mm -hmm. among many others. <laughs> Just thinking about going to the grocery store, getting a comic book for the ride home, looking at all the artwork, the stories, the artists who wrote it, Oh, just... All right, enough reminiscing about the good old days. <laughs> but first, how about we send our viewers to the next teasers? Because they're sexy, exciting, and epic all at once.
centered on the conflict between heroes and villains, the DC multiverse has continued to expand and transcend generations. Since 1934, these epic stories have set the stage for larger-than-life characters and unforgettable moments that captivate our attention and inspire our imagination even to this day. Prime One Studio proudly presents three such moments that can now be forever cherished in your collection. A savage sewage battle, a throne of thorns, and an infernal set of armor. From the depths below the city of Gotham comes a piece that captures the intense clash between two formidable adversaries in the dark sewers that no one dares to venture. The ferocious confrontation of Batman versus Killer Croc. Born with reptilian genetics, the supervillain known as Killer Croc possesses thick skin, impervious even to bullets, and overwhelming superhuman strength. The stunning craftsmanship of this piece brings life to the crocodile combatant in all his menacing glory. With the commanding presence befitting of his colossal form, coated in green scales and wrapped in bandages. The finer points of detail were spared no attention, with the visceral brutality spilling out of freshly opened wounds, one of which still has the battering thrust inside. What's more, three separate head portraits based on different artist depictions will be included so you can display your favorite version of the scaled sentinel. On the other end of this mortal confrontation, Batman also brings with him the presence of a life and death struggle. His bulging muscles have been pushed to the absolute limit and his iconic costume soaked in blood. This piece truly conveys both the unyielding reptilian resolve and the heavyweight of the hero's burden. Just like his opponent, Batman will also have three different head portraits as well as diving equipment for sustained submersions so as not to be hindered by a fierce aquatic assault. The elaborate base features weathered texture to bring out the grit and grime of the septic scenery, accented by the splashes of watery debris and skeletal remains. Even the inhabiting rats have stopped in their tracks to observe this epic encounter. This dark undercity cavern is lit only by the sparks that fly between these relentless adversaries locked in the ultimate showdown. And now, the climatic conclusion can be eternalized in your collection. In the previous showcase, Prime One Studio unveiled its newest project, Throne Legacy. This new collection displays your favorite heroes and villains expressively taking their seat on thematic thrones that highlight the true essence of their character and personality. This next enticing addition to this series features the illustrative vision from an esteemed DC artist, Poison Ivy Seduction Throne, concept designed by Carlos Danda. Gazing upon her subjects with a captivating aroma, the infamous eco-terrorist plants her roots in her rightful throne, overgrown in verdant vegetation. With top-notch talent and technique, Carlos Dana took Prime One Studios' creative direction and channeled it into an original, illustrative manifestation like no other. The flowing, tendril-like arms and legs of this natural beauty resembles vines of ivy, as her name suggests. Delicate, vibrant, her lush green skin is shrouded with an unbelievable attire made up of literal leaves coming together in a design that feels both fresh and familiar. Changeable head portraits and a second set of hands allow for personalized arrangement to create a display of temptation that best fits your personal sensibilities. 
The carnivorous plant life and the decayed remnants of their unfortunate victims also take center stage in this piece. From the blossoming culmination of thematic elements on its front, to the intricately etched stone and composted casualties on its back, this piece truly is a sight to behold from all angles. The beckoning allure of the green temptress is simply irresistible. All hell, the unparalleled majesty of the Sylvan Sovereign. Charging into the fray of apocalypse, he must take on the most fearsome enemies to retrieve the body of his lost son, Damien Wayne. Created for the most dangerous of scenarios, the bat suit that carries lethal ramifications makes its long-awaited appearance. With the returning expert in robotic detail, Hellback concept designed by Josh Nizzi. Forged by the combined efforts of the Justice League, the Hellbat armor offers godlike power restricted only by the limited life force of its user, with potentially fatal consequences. The heightened sense of tension and urgency with this fleeting iteration of the mass vigilante has made it a favorite amongst fans of the series. The creative vision features complex mechanical intricacies as we've come to expect from Josh and Izzy. Matching the unique appearance of the armor, the blade of the broadsword is made up of multiple segments joined together with a thematic bat symbol serving as the cross guard. The massive wingspan is broken up by panels lined with crimson, giving a flow of movement to the sharp edges. It's an inspiring technological masterpiece that adds modern innovation while staying loyal to the classic image of the character. With multiple display options, including a second pair of hands, wielding the broadsword and an alternative set of spikes, this imposing piece stands on a beautiful base of flames depicting the sinister hellscape of Apocalypse. Yet another timeless moment in the DC legacy that can forever be preserved in your collection. Published between 2017 and 2018, Dark Knight's Metal delves into the deepest and darkest corners of the DC Universe and follows the story of Bruce Wayne in the multiverses turned evil. Prime One Studios' impressive take on the dark multiverse spans across years of painstakingly accurate and impeccable sculpting and detailing. At long last, I present to you the final piece of the puzzle, the last statues to complete your Dark Knight's Metal collection.
Dark Knight's Metal, the acclaimed crossover comic in which Bruce Wayne discovers the existence of an entirely separate multiverse known as the Dark Multiverse. It is here that we are introduced to seven twisted variants of the Cape Crusader who have fallen into darkness. Prime One Studio has done an incredible job of depicting the sinister yet beautifully detailed recreations of the Dark Knight's darkest incarnations. With his vow not to kill Broken, he was consumed by the madness of his arch nemesis, the Joker. Earth Negative 22's The Batman Who Laughs. In order to stop a frenzied Superman, he infected himself with the Doomsday Virus, Earth Negative 1's The Devastator. Losing his beloved and himself to the power of a god, he welds the God Killer to wage war against anyone who stands in his way. Earth Negative 12's The Merciless. Harnessing the ring of the Green Lantern, his corrupt willpower overcharged the ring and turned himself into a cold killer. Earth Negative 32's The Dawnbreaker. Pushed to extreme measures by the loss of his sidekick Robin, he acquired the speed force and gained the power of light speed. Earth Negative 52's Red Death. Driven to war by the forces of Atlantis, she wells the trident of Poseidon in a sunken Gotham the Drowned of Earth Negative 11. Driven to guilt and self-loathing by the brutal death of Alfred, his desperation and despair turned to reliance on technology. Earth Negative 44's cybernetic monster, Murder Machine. Beneath the mask that bears a strong resemblance to the Batman we know, his capacity for fear and sadness has been completely removed by an AI replica gone haywire known as the Alfred Protocol. His cold, mechanical expressions have been captured in three separate portraits, each devoid of human emotion. Glimpses of machinery can be seen peering through the armored plating meticulously devised by Master Engineering. Small metal segments align to form a spinal column along the back producing a cybernetic structure resembling human anatomy with technological capabilities, perhaps even surpassing the creator, Cyborg himself. His reconfigurative abilities can be seen through interchangeable parts, with computer hacking wiry tendrils in a sharp blade capable of cutting through anything, distinct key moments from the comic can be recreated and eternalized. The ethereal base features hologram projections of the emotionless Alfred Protocol that will stop at nothing to protect Bruce, even from his own humanity. The former father figure takes helicopter parenting to the most extreme level and includes LED lighting in both hands, as well as the hands of the murder machine himself. The pinnacle of cybernetic evolution, unfettered with the constraints of human empathy, Murder Machine is available at long last, completing the roster of the Dark Knights. What's that? We're still not finished with the Dark Multiverse? What about her? Right, let me introduce you once again to the world of darkness. Try not to be consumed by the cackling madness. <laughs> In the Dark Multiverse, it is not just heroes that are twisted into obscurity. This next member of Darkness was first previewed back in November. The Harley Who Laughs. Much about this iteration of the Clown Princess still remains a mystery. We only know her goal of becoming the multiverse's one and only Harley Quinn. Once again, Prime One has teamed up with DC artist Carlos Danda to come up with original concept art to serve as a foundation of sculptural design. Her signature red and blue costume is gorgeously rendered in metallic and leather textures. The gratuitous use of spikes, also seen in the Batman Who Laughs, brings with it a tremendous sense of weight. 
The bloodthirsty hounds Bud and Lou are eager to be unleashed upon some fresh meat. Over the years, Harley Quinn has worn many faces. Likewise, Prime One Studio has prepared multiple portraits, including her peculiar face paint, along with multiple cage-style masks. On top of that, you can also change between a freshly bloodied hammer, a spiked bat, and a savage meat cleaver to optimize for the perfect display of the Mistress of Mayhem. Standing atop a heavy metal ironclad base of pure despair, this stunningly gruesome portrayal of the dark multiverse's queen of chaos turned even crazier is one you simply will not want to miss. For more information on the Dark Multiverse series or for the latest updates from Prime One Studio, be sure to check out the official Prime One Studio website and social media channels. Last September, Prime One Studio revealed their latest series in development, the Throne Legacy Collection. Throughout history, there have been countless creations of stone and metals depicting powerful, heroic figures of their time seated upon thrones as a testament to their greatness. This symbolic imagery has made its way into the mediums of entertainment spanning film, comic books, and video games, all showcasing the commanding presence of these iconic legends, inspiring the concept of this bold new collection. Of course, Prime One Studio has offered statues in seated positions in the past, but the goal of the Throne Legacy Collection is to fully draw out the character's personality with expressive postures and thematic thrones to best capture their true nature. While you or I might sit down to sneak in a quick break, in the world of statues, the seated form shows status, strength, and sophistication. Throughout the showcase, we'll be taking a deeper look into the lineup of the Throne Legacy Collection, where you'll be able to see firsthand the eminence worthy of those ascending to the throne. Bear witness to the magnificence of those who sit atop the world.
At Prime One Studio, statues aren't just simple sculptures. They're an artistic medium that captures both the background and story of a character through otherworldly portrayals of dramatic expression. This time, Prime One Studio takes its first step in a bold undertaking with an entirely original depiction of the beloved Batman series in an epic, gritty, dark fantasy world with plans of even more characters on the horizon. Engulfed in an infernal nightmare, Batman dons armor with a fierce new appearance that captures his unyielding abyssal descent to vanquish hellish abominations. His signature bat symbol, an image as iconic as the hero himself, exudes a piercing presence that absolutely demands your attention. From head to toe, his armor resonates with the unleashed power of this dark nether realm. With each stage of his rising fury, his helmet adapts and changes form. Starting with the traditional depiction of his lower face exposed, his escalating anger closes the helmet to reveal a mass of pure rage. Until finally, the power of wrath emanating from his crimson eyes fully conceals all emotions, completing the transformation of the warrior of darkness. Firm within his grip, the Demon Slayer Blade is the perfect weapon for striking down the twisted horrors of this plane into astral ruin. With the Phantom Axe, ethereal specters devoid of form are cleaved asunder, vanishing into oblivion. The Spear of Justice pierces through the mysterious armor in hordes of encroaching demons. The behemoth Deathbringer Sword delivers death even to those assumed to be immortal. And when all those weapons become one, combined with Batman's unwavering resolve for justice and righteousness, the colossal judgment of faith is born. The sheer multitude of weapons exhibits master's class in craftsmanship and a breathtakingly dominating display like no other. Following the trail of classic entries from DC Comics, as well as the highly intricate mechanizations of the Transformers series, Prime One Studio plunges into the dark depths of a world reminiscent of the manga masterpiece Berserk. Batman Berserk Dark Age Saga. This is only just the beginning, so stay with us as we venture deeper into the void. beloved characters played by our beloved iconic movie stars. To this day, the silver screen inspires all of us to collect characters that we all looked up to from our childhood. For me, Terminator just so happens to be one of those cult classics that I keep going back to time and time again just for all of those nostalgic feels. That biker bar scene is pretty epic, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> This next piece is a must-have for any Terminator enthusiast and promises fans will come back for more. Hasta la vista, baby.
캐릭터 2는 제가 10년 전쯤에도 한번 만들어 본 적이 있었던 캐릭터인데요. 제가 가장 좋아하는 영화이기도 하고 많은 사람들이 꼽는 가장 아이콘적인 캐릭터이기도 하여 항상 만들 기회를 기다려왔던 것 같아요. T800 같은 경우는 고민을 많이 했던 게 이제 초반에 선글라스를 끼고 있는 T800이냐 중반부에 미니건을 난사하는 T800이냐 그리고 마지막 후반에 데미지를 입은 모습이냐 를 고민했었는데 가장 터미네이터다운 모습이 풀 데미지일 것 같다는 생각이 들어서 이렇게 기획이 나왔습니다. 티천 같은 경우는 제가 이 영화를 처음 봤을 때 섬뜩하다고 느꼈던 점이 그 무표정에서 느껴지는 그 살기 가득한 눈빛이 너무 무서웠거든요. 특징적인 포즈가 있기 때문에 굉장히 컨셉이 빨리 나왔어요. 손가락을 까딱까딱 하는 이제 마지막 후반부 그 장면 손가락 각도 하나만으로도 좀 눈빛이랑 연결이 되면서 좀 느낌이 달라지더라고요 얼굴에서도 크게 인상을 막 찌푸리는 것이 아닌데도 몸에 힘을 풀고 있는데도 고개 각도와 눈빛 하나만으로 그 강렬함이 되게 컸었던 것 같아요 그 차분한 표정 안에 살기 가득한 눈빛을 잘 표현하기 위해서 미세한 고개 각도와 시선을 좀 수없이 많이 고쳐가면서 만들었습니다 티처는 액체 금속으로 이루어져서 총에 맞아 구멍에 뚫렸다가도 금세 메꿔지는 그런 특수 분장과 효과가 그 시대에 너무 충격적이면서도 영화에 더욱 집중하게끔 하는 요소였다 생각해요. 바디 쪽에서 액체 금속이 터져나가는 효과를 주기 위해 액체 파츠를 추가했는데요. 바디에 자석이 심어져 있어서 가슴 쪽에 파츠를 갖다 대면 탁 달라붙는 재미 요소도 주었습니다. 티천의 의상 쪽에서는 작은 디테일들이 꽤 많이 있는데요. 언제든 사람들을 속이며 접근했어야 했기에 경찰복으로 분장을 하고 티천이 활동을 해요. 그래서 경찰복이 주는 단정한 이미지와 티천의 상반된 느낌이 그 캐릭터를 더 극대화해줬다고 생각이 들어서 경찰복은 더 정갈하고 깔끔하게 세련되게 만드는 것에 좀 중점을 두었던 것 같아요. 그 경찰복 주머니 안에 깔끔히 꽂혀진 펜도 그대로 재현했습니다. 팔백 같은 경우는 풀 데미지 헤드를 만들 때 제가 가장 고민을 많이 했었던 부분이 그 당시에는 이제 실제 이렇게 분장으로 아놀드 피부에 덧대어서 표현을 하느라고 얼굴이 이렇게 뿌러 있는 거죠 덧대어져 있어서 그것과 똑같이 얼굴을 만들자니 얼굴이 되게 어색해지더라고요 완전히 100% 말이 되게끔 하자니 영화상에서 느껴졌던 그 분장한 느낌이 좀 없어지고 그래서 가장 그 중간을 어떻게 하면 잘 표현할 수 있을까를 굉장히 많이 고민을 했고 실제 LED가 나오는 빨간색의 불빛의 위치에 따라서도 시선이나 느낌이 되게 많이 달라져서 위치를 잡는 거에서도 되게 시간이 많이 걸렸던 것 같아요 피부가 벗겨지고 엔더스켈레톤이 드러날 때 한쪽 눈에 빨간 불이 들어오는데 이제 포스터에도 표현될 정도로 굉장히 상징적인 거거든요 그래서 자연스럽게 어떻게 하면 불을 잘켤수 있을까 그래서 목 아래쪽에 기믹을 넣어서 편리하게 불을 끄고 켤수 있도록 LED 설계가 들어갔습니다 T800의 루즈가 상당히 많아요 대표적으로 런처가 있고요 쇠파이프 몽둥이가 있고 베이스 위에는 엄지손가락을 지켜세우는 그 용광로 장면 떠올리게 하는 예, 사슬이 있거든요 그리고 엔도암 부서진 왼팔 전에 부서지지 않은 엔도암 영화에서는 이 엔도암 위에 장갑을 끼고 나와서 엔도암을 확인할 수는 없었지만 은 저희는 이 엔도암을 꼭 한번 넣어보고 싶어서 따로 전시도 할수 있게끔 엔도암을 구성해 넣었습니다 의상을 만들 때는 영화상의 핏감 그대로를 만들어야 될 때도 있지만 때로는 또 스태츄로서 더 매력적인 느낌이 나야 되기 때문에 아놀드 같은 경우는 실제 영화상에서 가죽 자켓은 좀 헐렁한데 더 핏하게 제작되었습니다. 그리고 총을 맞아 찢겨졌을 때의 느낌도 중요하기 때문에 가죽 원단을 찢어가면서 그 가죽 단면의 원단의 그 느낌까지도 고려해가면서 원단을 골랐던 기억이 납니다. T800 베이스 같은 경우는 뼈대를 이루고 있는 엔도 스켈레톤 컨셉으로 은빛에 블링블링한 그 부품들이 좀 강조될 수 있도록 파란색 LED가 많이 들어가 있고요. T1000과의 좀 자연스러운 조화도 염두를 했기 때문에 상판, 그러니까 발을 딛고 있는 가장 윗부분은 T1000과 분위기를 좀 맞췄고요. T1000 베이스 같은 경우는 이제 그 전체적인 제철소, 그 용광로 분위기를 내기 위해서 오렌지색 LED를 많이 사용했습니다. 
워낙 좋아하는 영화여서 작업하면서도 굉장히 즐거웠고요. 여러분들도 같이 느끼셨으면 좋겠습니다. 언제나 진심을 다해 작품을 만들지만 심혈을 많이 기울여서 만들었어요. 터미네이터를 좋아하시는 분들이 많이 공감해 주셨으면 좋겠고 좋은 선물이 되기를 바랍니다. Fry One Studio has had the honor of working with talented artists from all around the globe. Today, I am proud to announce a special partnership with Shumi Arts, a hyper-realistic statue maker based in South Korea. Over the years, they've proven themselves to be one of the best in the world when it comes to portraying characters just how they were in the movie. Veterans of the statue industry are well aware that the production sample of a statue acts as a guideline and represents the essence of the final product to be produced. But what sets the work of Shumi Arts and Prime One apart is that each and every piece is meticulously crafted and hand-painted by the original artists themselves, resulting in a highly limited and premium collectible. So without further delay, please join me as we reveal Shumi Arts first ever collaboration with Prime One Studio under the highly coveted Platinum Master Line. Lumos. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. On a hot summer's day in Tokyo, Japan, a few artists gathered in the heart of the city to pursue their passions and redefine the meaning of hobby, or as we like to call it in Japan, Shumi.
Severus Snape by Prime One Studio and Shumi Arts. One of my absolute favorite things to do when I go to the movie theater is to stuff my face with buckets of popcorn. With sound, design, and CG graphics so realistic that they could be mistaken for the real thing, Prime One aims to bring that cinematic experience to your living room in the form of wonder statues. From Jurassic Park 3, a milestone in the Jurassic Park series, here is a teaser featuring a cunning little hunter. The dark fantasy world of Berserk is ripe and gritty storytelling, making it one of the best-selling mangas of all time. With that said, Berserk holds a special place in the hearts of Prime One Studio artists and their extensive lineup of statues honors the work of its original artist, Kintaro Miura. In continuing our tribute to Miura Sensei's work, we are pleased to announce a new series of statues titled Legacy Art Kintaro Miura Berserk. Statues from Legacy Art will be selected based on Miura Sensei's iconic illustrations and aim to evoke the emotions of fans through their 3D representations. The legacy left behind Miura Sensei will never be forgotten, and we hope that these next few teasers will help to forever endure his hauntingly beautiful work.
part one, we dazzled your eyes with a teaser featuring two demonic human twins, Dante and Virgil, from the third installment of Devil May Cry. Well, folks, they've finally finished them, and it's now time to reveal the finished products in all of their glory. Longtime collaborator and friend Capcom continues to prove that their bond between Prime One Studios is unbreakable and stronger than ever. Next up is a piece from the popular survival horror series, and right after, a few special teasers you do not want to miss. <gasps> Whether or not you're a fan of survival horror games, you've no doubt heard of the series that's become synonymous with the genre itself, Resident Evil. Known one as Biohazard in Japan, the latest main entry in the franchise takes classic and modern elements from its predecessors, combined with a new Victorian Gothic aesthetic, to create an entirely unique experience that stays faithful to its core vision. This fast-paced, heart-pumping, yet chilling and eerie action thriller gave birth to an antagonist that, for various reasons, ended up becoming the sleeper highlight of the game. Juxtaposing her intimidating stature and sadistic demeanor, her captivating charisma makes you love to fear her and fear to love her. 
I'm talking about none other than Lady Alcina Dimitrisk from Resident Evil Village. With a presence proportionate to her towering height and a grandeur exemplified in her exquisite attire, the giant vampire's essence is perfectly captured in this remarkable statue that could only be produced at Prime One Studio. In addition to her tremendous size, you'll find it difficult to resist her enchanting lure. While a standing depiction of the Big Baroness might be more common, the developers of Prime One Studio aim to showcase her seated on a throne to show off her feminine contour in a way that's elegant, sophisticated, and seductive. The expressive folds and ripples sculpted into her fabulous wardrobe create a more accurate portrayal of her nature as envisioned. As you can see, the result eloquently brings out her bewitching beauty. Her piercing gaze and sinister smirk beneath her wide-rimmed hat faithfully replicate the impression she leaves in the game as she scornfully looks down on anyone who dares enter Castle Dimitrisk. The elaborate base features aged yet opulent chairs and carpets, further encapsulating the magnificence of the Victorian atmosphere. It's an extraordinary piece that breathes life into both the character and the setting alike. Regardless of whether you're a longtime fan of the Resident Evil series, a newcomer to survival horror games, or just have a refined taste for abnormally large ladies, Prime One Studio is extremely proud to present to you Alcina Dimitris. After a long, hard day at work, sometimes I just want to plop down on the sofa, crack open a cold one, and play a few video games. As a form of escapism, video games have tapped into our wildest imaginations since their inception in 1958. And just as game development has rocked the industry, Prime One attempts to parallel this with their own ambitious line of video game statues. Next up is the long-awaited reveal featuring the beautiful Enchantress from The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt in an all-new scale. In part one of Next Level X, we trekked across the expansive cursed land of Boletaria from Demon Souls, and we encountered the ever so intimidating Tower Knight. This next reveal features a powerful knight with a blood enchanted sword 
from the critically acclaimed PlayStation exclusive. From Software is a game company that understands the importance of user experience, and their well-designed and challenging games have garnered them attention over the past two decades. Prime One Studios has had the honor of working with From Software to create top-notch 3D representations from their masterfully created works. Next is a never-before-seen reveal from the talented folks at From Software. When it comes to stories that pull at the heartstrings, Naughty Dog knows best. The Last of Us took an incredible journey with Joel and Ellie through a post-apocalyptic wasteland as they fought through hordes of the infected. Previously touted for their Ellie and Abby statue from The Last of Us Part II, Prime One Studio takes all the drama and action to soaring new heights in this final reveal of Next Level X Part Three.謎の奇跡が引き起こしたパンデミックの発生。人類は絶滅の危機に追いやられ、繁栄を極めた都市部も自然に帰っていく。この週末の光景が広がる危険な世界で、アメリカを横断する二人の人物がいた。ザラストオ
本当に長い時間を費やしましたそして今日ようやく皆さんにお見せすることができます「ザ・ラスト・オブ・アス・パート1」私たちが自信を持ってお届けするビッグプロジェクトの一つです「アビーとエイリーが劇場の舞台裏で対峙する「ザ・ラスト・オブ・アス・パート2」のジオラマご存知の通り私たちはすでにノーティードッグと共同制作した作品をリリースしていますファンからの厳しい意見を真摯に受け止めエリーの頭部も改善しましたこのシーンはとてもエモーショナルで視覚的なインパクトも強烈ですプレイヤーはアビーを操作し友人を殺したエリーを追い詰めていきますこの2作目のテーマは復讐と食材ですが一作目でフォーカスしたのはエリーとジョエルの関係の変化です。I think the emotional bond between Joel and Ellie is particularly special to the fans because we see them develop a genuine connection over time. At first, Joel sees Ellie as this kind of burden, but as their bond deepens, they begin to rely on each other for emotional support. The conversations and banter between them sound real, and I think the audience really resonates with that. ゲームの中で見せるジョエルとエリーの心の動きを造形で見せていくそのことを一番に考えました最難関のサバイバルでエリーを守るためにクリッカーと戦うジョエルその後方からライフルを構えてサポートするエリーの表情には決意、悲しみ、心配といったさまざまな感情が浮かんでいます彼女の内側から湧き出るものを感じてもらえたら嬉しいですね And then you have Joel, who has his teeth clenched, ready to swing at a clicker who's trying to grab at him. I think the sculptors did a really nice job capturing the intensity and emotion of the scene. But personally, I have to say that I like the stoic version of his face because that's the Joel that we've all come to know and love from the game steadfast, loyal, and reliable. Game, Last of Us, the Ponton no Gain to Naru, Michi no Kinlu in the Kisei Sareta Ningen, Infected. 第3段階クリッカーにまで変容した姿は見た目も恐ろしくほんの少し残る人間の肌と規制されおぞましく形を変えた部分の細かく目を見張る造形の相模事ですたった一体が相手でもジョエルとエリーが死を覚悟しなければならないような緊張感が伝わってくるでしょう「They're called clickers because of the sounds they make. You'll immediately know when they're nearby you in the game. Sometimes they're off screen and all you hear is this eerie clicking and Guttural, strange breathing, and it's just creepy. クリッカーの特徴といえば崩れた頭塗装で一番苦労したのはゲーム中のリアルでサイドの低い色味を再現しながらグロテスクなディティールを一つ一つ際立たせること他にも顔の出血をクリア素材の上から塗ったり手や口の周辺だけツヤを重ねてウェットな質感を出したりと至るところで工夫を凝らしていますベースは高低差がありその側面の至るところにはゲームを織りなす要素が多く存在しますベースに埋もれた壁面やパイプに絡みつくペンダントには荒れた世界を統制する軍隊に反乱する組織ファイアフライのマークが刻まれインフェクテッドとして規制され生きたい敗した死体などただ荒廃した世界を再現した造形ではなく見どころある要素を盛り込んだものになります 
have the rips in Joel and Ellie's shirt, the pins on our backpack, the brick, the bottle, the dog tag hanging off the pipe, the watch Joel's wearing is actually broken like it is in the game. Um, as a huge fan of The Last of Us, the attention to detail is bar none. 3D モデリング、造形、塗装、ここまで来るのは本当に長く、正直折れそうなこともありました。でもこうして完成して本当に嬉しいですし、ファンの皆さんに届けられるなんて夢のようですね。At Prime One Studio, we love games and storytelling just as much as the next guy, and it's been an absolute honor working closely with Naughty Dog on this project. We absolutely cannot wait for you to see it in person and relive the emotions you felt when playing through The Last of Us. ぜひファンの皆様にはスタジオの隅々まで見ていただき「ザ・ラスト・オブ・アス・パート1」のドラマを手に入れていただきたいと思います。I honestly had super high expectations after part one and part two, but I was absolutely taken aback by all these amazing reveals and collaborations. Right? Prime One Studio really has a knack for making time fly by. Sure, it may be the end of Next Level X, but rest assured that the studio is going to continue bringing you the best of the best in the world of world class statues, figures, and presentations. Absolutely. And the studio would also like to thank each and every one of you for being so patient and supportive each and every step of the way. Prime One Studio wouldn't be anything without their fans. And a big thank you to all the viewers at home for tuning in to our showcase. We are honored to be your hosts. Until next time, stay cool and have a prime day. Bye for now, and see you all at Prime One Studios next, next showcase. showcase.